Good afternoon and welcome to Anderson Family Field on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. It's game four here, the 2020 Judy Garman Classic, and this one features the Texas Longhorns ranked number three and the Washington Huskies ranked number two. She's on the USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year preseason watch list. Hit over third, and that's going to get down. It gets the chalk, and it's a fair ball. Jefferson headed to third. She's safe. Burke in at second. And the 2-2 from Plain. That one bounces up there. And here comes the first run of the game. Trying to score all the way from second, and Burke is going to be tagged out at the plate. Now time apparently was called. There was obstruction called on the third baseman. And here is the 0-2 from play and reaches for it. That's going to be a base hit into center field. Burke comes home to score. Gets the bunt down and it's a thing of beauty. The throw is low to first, not in time. And that's low ball four and that's going to force it a run. The 3-1. Outside, ball four. She walks in another run. Now four to nothing. That ball hit into right field. Sheely coming in. She's got it. Tagging at third is Rose. Here comes the throw. Not in time. Now trying to take third, and she's going to be throwing out is Sullivan to end the inning. 1-2 lifted in the left field, hit pretty well. Going back, looking up, and it is gone. A solo shot for Bailey Klingler. Her fourth of the season puts the Huskies on the board, and it's now 5-1 Texas. It's that one into right field for a base hit. Homecoming for Alchin. She lifts that one deep into left center, and it is gone, a three-run homer. So Alchin muscles up, goes the opposite field, her second home run of the season. And now the Huskies just trail it by a run. Going opposite field, coming on is Bork to make a diving catch for out number two in the third. That's it into left field and that's gonna get down for a base hit. For Jefferson 0 for 1, walk, scored a run. This is a beautiful bunt from behind the plate. Flores throws to get her but the sacrifice works. That ball is gonna get into center field for a base hit. They're gonna wave slack, the throw is cut off. And now they've got Burke in a rundown. She's tagged out. 1-0 to Slack. Hit down towards second. Take the wicked hop. Atley ate her up. She didn't get in front of it. Hit in the left center and hit pretty well. Alchin going back as is. Reynolds. And it is gone. A two-run shot. I had to wait because I thought... Maybe Reynolds might have made the catch, but Burke an opposite field two-run shot, and it's now 8-4. Two and one on Flores. Line drive down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Tedder one hops. Throw to first is not in time. Boy, she took a wide turn. Thought about heading for second, then scampered back in and just beat the throw. Payoff pitch to Klingler. Base hit left field. So back-to-back -back singles for the Huskies here in the sixth. So now the bases are loaded. Taraka, the pitch runner, is at third. Klingler at second, swings at the first pitch. Steps on the back for one throw to first. Gets by the first baseman. And a couple of runs will score. The one-two, reach for it. Behind third, long throw, in time, Texas wins. Final line, Texas eight runs, eight hits, and an error. Huskies six runs, six hits, two errors.